liquid gold highlighter. Okay. Yes. Oh, that glow. Okay. So you see how I make it pop. Welcome back to Whitney Styles YouTube channel. On this channel, I do outfit inspiration videos, fashion related DIY projects, and now I'm very excited to announce makeup tutorials. Today's video is a very special collaboration with Destiny Davis. Destined for Beauty. Miss Desi the Star. <laughs> we did a nice classic Destined for Beauty sweet beat on Whitney. So we kept it really soft and sultry with the eyes with a pop of gold in the center. Nice bronzer turn and some nice purple blush on her cheeks. Yes. And a popping pink lip. Destiny is the very first makeup artist who ever did a full face makeup application for me. And this has to be like 10 years ago, yes. maybe longer. You were literally probably one of my first makeup clients yes. when I moved back to Rapid. She actually yes. used to come to my house mm -hmm. and get her makeup done before I even finished school. So I thought it was very fitting to do my very first makeup tutorial yes. collaboration with Destiny kind of. Making everything come full circle. Yes, I love it. Tell them a little bit about Destin for Beauty. Okay, Destin for Beauty is a premier one-stop shop located here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, we have hair, makeup, and we also have a barber. We'll be going on our year anniversary, June 24th, my birthday. And I'm very excited that Whitney had me on so we can also do other things yes. such as makeup and hair tutorials that she's uh, invited me to as well. We've been putting it on hold for about the past couple months, couple months. but it's well worth the wait. I'm very excited about this look that we are about to debut. Yes, so if you want to learn how Destiny created this look on me, please stay tuned and keep watching until the very end. In this video, Destiny gives us a few what I call a pro tip, yes. professional tips that you can use to enhance your makeup routine and elevate your makeup game. Yes. Stay tuned. Okay, so we already have Whitney moisturized um, and cleansed. So now we're gonna go in with our primer. I like spread this on the face just like lotion. But what it does is kind of even out our surface. It gives something for our foundation to adhere to. And it makes sure that your foundation and all other products just stick on there. That's all day, it lasts to the next day. <laughs> you don't, I recommend you wash your face, but if you don't, oh. you will wake up the same beat <laughs> if you prime properly. Our next step will be eyebrows. That is the first thing I always do. Ulta Beauty Brow Expert Kit. It has a dark brown gel, and it also has two tones of powders. So I'm going in with the gel first to make our shape. And I'm just following Whitney's natural eyebrow. I'm not making them any bigger or smaller. I'm just filling in. I start in the middle. I'm heavier towards the end in the tails. We want those to be kind of pronounced. It doesn't have to be super perfect because we are going to conceal and give it that crispy arch. And then as we're going into the corners, you want to be a lot more light handed. So it kind of fades out. You can use gel or powder. I just use a combo of both. I start with the gel and set with the powder. So I'm gonna use the spoolie and just kind of follow the direction of her natural hairs. Blends in that gel and it also blends out the inner corners or of the eye. So it's like a faded situation. Even if your eyebrows are not freshly waxed, you can fake it with the concealer. So I'm just using a small flat over brush and I just try to slick it so it's as flat as possible. And I go in with my concealer and I'm just going to trace right underneath her eyebrow. Um, it helps to kind of lift the arch. It gives you the arch if you lift up a little bit. It can help you out. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the top. So you use concealer at the top. I do. See, I've heard mixed things about using concealer at the top. What have you heard as an alternative? I've heard that you should use your foundation color at the top of your eyebrow because you should only use concealer where you wanna highlight. You can do it either way, um, but when I do my concealer, I'm only going about two shades lighter. So it's kinda easy to blend out. And you'll see even when I blend this out, it won't be like super highlighted. Okay. But I do my eyebrows first before um, the foundation. I think if you were to do your eyebrows after the foundation, I would recommend using your foundation color as opposed to the concealer. Cause you don't, you don't want to have that highlighted effect. Um, those halo brows as they call them. Just taking a fluffy brush and blending 
that down into her eyelid so we don't see any lines. You don't wanna go into the eyebrow cause you don't wanna mess up that sharp line that you created. So you're kind of just going where the concealer meets the skin that doesn't have any product on it. They say eyebrows should be sisters and not twins. Cause I don't think anybody's eyebrows are exactly the same. So when you're doing this, you kind of trying to make them look the same because a lot of people don't have identical eyebrows. I live by the same motto. Now our brows are done. That's the first step. One of the most important steps because Definitely. eyebrows frame your face. Definitely. Now our next step is going to be the foundation. Um, because I am doing a sweet beat look, I, it's okay for me to do the foundation before I do the eyes because we won't experience a lot of fallout. If you are doing a smoky eye or something more dramatic, I do suggest you do your eyes first so that you don't have a lot of cleanup on the foundation. We are going to be using black opal. Um, their true color foundation. This is one of my favorites. Before I put her foundation on though, I'm going to do a little color correcting with the concealer on just a few spots. I got some problem areas y'all. That's why I always wear makeup. Everybody got a few uneven spots and that's the whole thing with makeup is just evening out your skin tone. So I'm only hitting the spots that are a little discolored and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just kind of like blend it out a little bit. Um, it's just damp so okay. it's fully damp. It helps spread your product a little more. No product on here besides the remnants of the uh, moisturizer and the primer that we use. So now we're gonna go in with our foundation. Like I said, we're using Rich Caramel, Caramel, Tomato Tomato, however you wanna say it. Just dabbing it on my Beauty Blender. This is a stick foundation. If you were doing your own personal makeup, mm -hmm. would you apply the stick directly to your yeah. skin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So I'm doing my own, it just, gives out more product so as I, as you see i keep tapping you probably won't have to do that if i'm putting it directly on your skin and i'm just kind of like stifling this product in just to get it on her face and then we will do more blending once i kind of have a full coverage build up so why do you like black opal brand um it's really it works really well on women of color uh -huh. i like i guess i like their array of colors um, it, a lot of them don't have those really orangey tones. Mm -hmm. They have nice undertones. Um, it's not as expensive, but it works really well. It lasts, it's moisturizing, and it's full coverage. I was telling Whitney before we started, well, before we turned on the cameras, <laughs> <laughs> how I took a celebrity makeup class with Beat Face Honey and Rennie Vasquez. Um, Beat Face Honey she has done Nicki Minaj, a lot of different celebrities. Um, and then Rene Vasquez, one of his most famous is Gabrielle Union. And when I took their class, both of them used Black Opal. This is when I started oh. using it. Both of them use Black Opal for their clients. And they have mostly clients of color. Right. It must photograph well, too. Correct. That's one of the things I look for in a foundation. Right. Like something that photographs well. Mm -hmm. Because some foundations give you that flashback. Right. Some have you looking like a ghost. Mm -hmm. Like every foundation does not photograph well, even if it looks good in person. Right. Exactly. I mean, part of it's the foundation, but part of it's probably like the technique yeah. applying yeah. and like what products you're layering with it. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure, you know, you're matching up your undertones with your foundation. Just like with MAC, they have NC and NW, so they have cool and warm. Mm -hmm. Some people's undertones are warm and some are cool. So you kind of have to figure out what your undertones are to properly match up your foundation. Use like an NC44 mm -hmm. with MAC foundation. Yep. NC42 with MAC concealers. Yep. Oh. Your, your tones is definitely cool and mine's mm -hmm. are too. So if you was to get like the NW44, it would be way too orange for you. Okay. Hmm. I just always go to the store and let them match me. Right. Not even realize it <laughs> if my undertones were cool or warm. Right. But some foundations I put on like that's, that don't look right. Right. Like yeah. I look olive mm -hmm. or I look orange. Yeah. Okay, so you just sprayed your brush with something. Mm -hmm. What did you spray your brush with? I sprayed my brush with MAC Prep and Prime. Oh, I have um, that. It's Fix Plus, so <laughs> yep. It's a kind of like a finishing spray, but mm -hmm. it works well in between applications just to keep the skin kind of like moisturized so I can move it around really mm -hmm. well. It helps to blend. I know a lot of people have problem with blending. That's their biggest challenge with makeup. Uh, so that's where the damp beauty blender damp brushes all that comes into play because it just helps slide the product really smooth on your face so i went in with the beauty blender to kind of get it in but now i'm going in with the damp brush and just doing circular motions just to make sure it's really smooth and blended out really well before we go in with the concealer 
and I just make kind of a triangle shape right under her eyes. You don't have to go all the way up to the lid because when you blend it out, it's gonna move up there. And I'm just kind of did a triangle shape and kind of just pulling it down. And you want to extend it pretty much all the way out. And the concealer that we are using is about two shades lighter than her foundation because you want to give that highlighted effect, but you don't want to do too, too light because then it's going to be hard to blend. I like the reverse raccoon eyes. <laughs> Which I don't want. Right. I don't want that. Where it's super, super bright underneath your eyes. I'm going to go right down the bridge of her nose because we want to highlight the tip of her nose and then continue all the way up to her forehead where I kind of make the same like a upside down triangle on her forehead. Just blending that in. What type of beauty blender do you use? This is from Ulta as well. Ulta is probably my favorite uh, beauty supply store. I really like their brand of makeup. It's, it's not as expensive, but it works really, really well. I'm trying to get in between in the small areas. That's where that pointed tip comes in here. So I'm going in and getting around her eyes. That's where I said you can push the product up where you didn't put it with that tip. But when you're trying to blend it down into the rest of the skin, the back, because that's gonna get it down into the areas where we didn't have that concealer and kind of get rid of those lines. Now I'm gonna use setting powder to set that highlight before I go in and do the eyes. And that way, if we do have any fallout, we'll be able to brush it off with the powder without it going into our foundation. I take my beauty blender and I press <laughs> it right into that powder. And then I'm gonna go where everywhere that we highlight it. So I'm just gonna press that into her skin underneath the eyes. And what this does is minimize the lines that are naturally underneath your eye that the concealer will tend to gather into and crease, kind of like drying it out so that we don't have those creases and lines underneath our eyes where everybody's eyes naturally has lines. And then on the nose, the forehead, and the chin. So basically use the loose powder to set anywhere that you've concealed to highlight. Correct. Now we're gonna start her eyeshadow. Um, nine times out of 10, I use the same concealer that I use to prime the eyes. Why? Um, Why do you use concealer instead of a primer? Thicker to me okay. than the actual primer. Every primer that I have is like really thin. Mm -hmm. And so the product okay. sticks a little better to me with the concealer. Okay. And then it's just kind of easy because you already have it underneath your eye. And a lot of times when using concealer on your eyebrow, you already bringing the concealer down. So, okay. so it basically just save you a step. This, then I use that same fluffy brush to just kind of spread it out and blend it into her eye. So the first step we're going to do is kind of contour her crease. Um, this palette is the Chocolate Gold palette. It smells good. It smells yeah, like chocolate. chocolate right? It smells like chocolate. This is one of my favorite palettes. It has a lot of shimmer eyeshadows in there, but my favorite powder to contour the eyelids is this Cocoa Truffle. It's like a neutral brown, and I use this dome brush to go in our crease. And when you have really good lighting, you can naturally see where the eyes sink in, where you want to accentuate the crease. So that's what I'm going to do. Really, really, her eyelids really pop. So I'm just going in where I can naturally see the shadows. And I'm just following that line. Layering is, is important when you're doing eyeshadows because that's how you get it to look really pronounced. It's like painting. You need a couple coats. I'm using circular motions. Everything is about blending, so circular motions is the easiest to blend it in. You can go in with their eyes open as well, so you can see exactly where to go above their eyelid. And now we're gonna go into her lids with a different color. This palette is Huda Beauty. Most of these are shimmers, so I'm gonna use a shimmer. This Nefertiti is this one. So it's like a blush, like a blush pink. And I'm gonna go in on her lids with that color. Where would you normally apply a shimmer eyeshadow? Do you only use it on the lids yes. or will you use it? Okay, so you would never use it in like the outer corner or anything like that? You can use it in the outer corner if it's a darker color and you want like a shimmer kind of like smoky. So anywhere on the lid, so it could be 
in the middle, it can be all over the lid, it can be in the corners, but you don't want to take it into the crease. Okay. Anytime you're doing a crease, you want more of a matte color, unless you're doing some type of specialty look. But for a regular basic look like we're trying to do now, you want to stay matte in the creases because that gives you that shadow that we're trying to create. The shimmer is reflecting light, so we want that to pop but we want the, the creases to kind of look like they're sunken in a little bit. And this is the same as we did with the crease. You're gonna use a few layers. When you apply my eyeshadow color, you're just patting it on, Yes. right? You're not like sweeping it across. Yep, I'm patting it in. in, patting it. I mean, you can sweep towards the lash line so you can get down into it. But for the most part, you wanna pat. That's how you're gonna get your max maximum coverage with the shadow. And you just wanna keep applying until you get the coverage that you know, you're know you happy with. Now, what I like to do for some extra pop on the lids. Extra pop. Extra pop. Extra wow factor. <laughs> yes. I like extra. Is go in with a little more concealer that we're using as primer. I'm going to place that right in the middle of her eyelid. This is new, I never did this before. Yep. It adds dimension to your sweet beats. We're gonna go in with a different color eyeshadow. So the primer just kind of gets it to where the different eyeshadow really pops. And I'm gonna go in with this chocolate gold back in our chocolate palette. I'm gonna place that right where I put that concealer in the middle. If you could only buy one eyeshadow palette, to do this sweet beat look with, what eyeshadow palette would it be? I would probably go with this chocolate. Like I've said already, this is my favorite because it has our shimmers, but it also has the mattes. Okay. So it has this neutral matte. If you wanna do like the no shadow look, it's skin tone. It has the color that we like to use in the crease, which is this brown. And then if you wanna do a smoky, it also has our charcoal black because it's really versatile. Whereas the uh, Huda Beauty, I really like it, but it's all shimmer. So okay. it's that's more for eyelid you still have to use other palettes with that one to kind of get the look that you want i'm going back in with our nefertiti and i'm just placing that back in the corners where we kind of blended it out with the gold that we put in the center you don't want it to look like color block you just want the colors to look like they kind of fade in together so you wanna tap the lines where they meet so that you don't have sharp lines, but you can still see the color change. That was what we call baking. <laughs> so when you bake the powder on, it gives more of a highlighted effect after it sits for a while. How long do you normally use your baking powder? Just have it on while I do the eyes. Okay. And if I'm doing a simpler eye look, then I keep it on the same amount. It, doesn't, it don't have to stay <laughs> that long. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to stay on long. Really, just a few minutes. It helps when you're doing your shadow because it helps uh, dust away any fallout. So what I'm going to be using to contour is also black opal. It's a foundation stick as well. It's just in a darker shade. So this shade is nutmeg. So it's about two to three shades darker than her foundation. The brush that I'm using is... Uh, skinny stippling brush and I'm just gonna dip that right into our foundation she already know what to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show you right. all the angles exactly I'm trying to see as much as possible and I'm just creating a line here right under her cheekbone and I'm kind of carving out where her cheekbone is at and it's okay if the lines are sharp because you are gonna blend this out now I'm gonna contour her nose a bit, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush because when you do the nose, you want those lines to be a little more defined. Cause you don't wanna look like Michael Jackson. No. The worst is over contouring the nose. So I'm going right along the bridge of her nose. And you wanna be a little lighter on the nose because like I said, we, we are gonna blend it out, but you want that to be very subtle. It's gonna set that shadow and get that back shimmery. And it's also gonna help me blend out her contour. And you just wanna pat it in 
until you get rid of those lines. It's still looking darker in the middle, but you get rid of the lines on each side. So everything that I've done is basically cream based, but we're still gonna go in and set it with the powder. So um, in the next step, when we set it, that's when I'll use my brush. But moving around creams, it's best to do it with a beauty blender. My favorite, favorite, favorite powders of all time is MAC Skin Finish. Um, you can use this as just a foundation. So when I'm trying to just do a light look and I don't have a lot of time, I'll use this by itself. So medium tan is what I'm gonna be using on Whitney. And we're just setting her foundation and smoothing it out with our powder. And you can go, you, I kind of like to just pat the contour so we don't mess up our lines, but we are gonna go, still go in with a darker powder to go over that uh, contour that we did do with the cream. Gonna make sure you're going down into the chin because you don't wanna have lines. So everything that you do, the back of the ear, down in the chin, you wanna blend that out too. I've never done that. I've never blended yes. it back on <laughs> Another pro tip. All right, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the same MAC Skin Finish, but this color is deep dark. We're gonna go into the areas that we already contoured with the cream. Get low. Girl, that's empty. <laughs> right. Shut up, this talent. This contact is empty. This Not at all. <laughs> if you are a true makeup it's artist, empty. this ain't dear empty. A little bit goes a long ways. And if you save these containers, six of them, Mac Recycle Program. Correct. Get you a free lipstick, mm -hmm. girl. Or guy, whoever's right. watching. Yeah. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And still blend that out. You just want it to look like natural hollows. You don't want any sharp lines. The nose contour. Now we're going to do one of my favorite parts, which is eyeliner. I loved a good winged eyeliner, especially when you're doing a sweet beat. You want to accentuate your eyes. Make them look a little bit more slanted. I'm going to be using NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's like a pen. So I'm just going to trace along her lash line. Uh, with eyeliner, the best thing to do is to do it in sections. So you don't have to worry about making one complete straight line. You're shaking, you're messing up. Like I do it in sections so that you're kind of connecting your lines and that makes it easier to make a straight line. So I'm starting in the corner, and I'm just slowly taking it in right along her lash line. I'm starting off making it thin, and then you can go in and make it thicker if you would like, but you wanna make sure you're right against that lash line so we don't have a gap in between the liner and her lash line. With this pen, what I like is you're able to do really small lines in the inner corner. Cause just going as close as I can into her inner corner, just going really lightly because you want the line to kind of get wider the further you go out. But in the inner corner, you want it to remain really skinny. So now I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. So we got that eye done. Now, if you anything like me, you sometimes do one side a little better than the other. Mm -hmm, me too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna trace right underneath. So pro tip number three, if you right. mess up on the winged mm -hmm. eyeliner, go back in with your go foundation and or concealer color, whatever your preference is, mm -hmm. and smooth out your wing. Our Broadway lashes. These are some of my favorite lashes. I'm just going to press it along her eyelid just to see if I need to trim anywhere which most of the time you do. They make them a little longer just in case you got extra long eyelids, but we're gonna trim just a little bit um, off the inner corner. Pro tip number four, yes. measure your eyelashes before you put your eyelashes yes. on. One size <laughs> does not fit off. No, it does not. All right, so we got our lashes popping. Popping. Okay, and that really is what <laughs> makes the look zhuzh. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do now is go back under with one more coat of highlighter. This is something that I like to do personally. Highlighter or concealer? I mean, well, concealer, highlighter. Okay, same concealer thing. to highlight, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, concealer to highlight, correct. Um, this is something that I like to do personally because it just adds an extra pop underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna go under one more time. On top of the area that we baked. Yes. I've never done this either. Yeah. Like we did with the shadows um, and the foundation, it's like you build up. 
Okay. So you kind of have to let it set a little bit and then build it back up to really get that full coverage that you want. This is a good tip because as you saw, I have a lot of redness underneath my eyes mm -hmm. with no makeup. So, yep. So it really brightens up. And I, and I have the same problems with me. It's more bags cause I'm just tired. <laughs> so I try to brighten up as much as possible, but still be blended. We're going to go back and set with our skin finish okay because no matter what any liquid cream whatever you want to set with powder but getting that powder right into those creases it is what prevents it from wrinkling up just the blending to where it meets our contour so we're going to use our handy dandy fix plus again for the third time today for the third, third, time, today. The third time today yes I, you see, we almost out. Favorite product. <laughs> right. One of the favorite product. Because I really like the skin to look dewy, especially when you're doing these sweet beats. And when you're doing your blush and your bronzer, it goes better again, like we said, on damp skin. And now I have this liquid gold highlighter. This can we is just even do a close up of this? Yes, girl. We liquid. Can. I've never see seen this. this either. Liquid gold highlighter. Okay. Are you wearing it, this today? I am. Okay. And it comes. Like this little. It looks like gold. Yep. I'm excited. And a little goes a long way. <laughs> okay. But How that's just a sneak peek. Because yes. we're going to do the blush first. Okay. Stay <laughs> no. tuned until the very end. <laughs> <laughs> the grand finale is coming. The blush that I'm going to be using is Ulta Velvet Blush. Oh, it looks purple. It's like a burn. This is my favorite. Mm. Favorite. I love this color. I've never used this. All my blushes are like pinks or peachy. Mm hmm. So. It adds a little more again. dimension. Like you can kind of go a little more bold with your blush and with your lips when the eyes are really soft. Okay. So we're going right into the apples of her cheeks. And I'm doing circular motions. I'm going to use my fluffy brush again to blend it out. Like I said, you don't want any lines. You just want everything to look like it's just strategically and naturally there. Now we're ready for our liquid gold. So I'm just kind of giving her a little line that we're going to blend out. Turn on this side. I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of trying to get the product in place for where we're going to blend it out. And I'm going to do a little on the tip of her nose. And I'm just kind of smoothing out that highlight right over the top of where we put her blush. You can use this alone, but I'm going to pair it with the Anastasia Glow Palette because it serves as kind of like a primer for the powder, but it's like a glowy primer, so it's like double the glow. I'm gonna go right over the top of where we blended out that liquid gold. That is popping, girl. Let me see. Yes. Oh, that glow. Okay, so you see how I make it pop Sun kiss. that Let's much? Finish. One more time. For right, one more time. One more time. The same on this side. And it just really makes this highlight pop when it kind of has something to adhere to, especially when it has a golden uh, tone to it as well. On the tip of the nose, the middle of the forehead, you want to hear everywhere where that sun kind of kisses your skin naturally, that's where you want to put the highlight. So you don't want to over highlight and it's just putting it in too many spots. You just look like a glow worm. Right. You don't want to look like that. But no. as long as you have it in the right spots, you can OD. This time I'm going to use white sand. Uh, it's a little more, oops, sorry, white sand. It's a little more golden. And I'm just going to put that right in her inner corners to give that a highlight as well. I'm going to highlight her brow bone. Maybe I'll do a little more Golden Dawn. You want to blend that highlight of the brow bone into where the contour color was. So it is summer. I want to do something bright. I got these cool little palettes on sale. Pinks. I think they were like $2.99 at Ulta. For six shades? Yes, girl. $2.99. Good price. Different reds. And they have these browns. I have a purple one too, but I think I, I put that in my personal <laughs> in my personal collection. Clients don't need to use yes. that one. That's in a personal stash. Um, what I like to do is like 
ombre lips. I love ombre lips. Okay. And when I do ombre lips, I use just lipstick. Oh, so you a lot of use a liner. Mm -mm. I use a liner when I make mine. Yes. So you can use both. Um, but especially if you have little palettes like this, you can just do the lipsticks. And I'm gonna outline her lips with this. And this is kind of an angle brush too, so it helps, you know, to act as a lip liner. I'm gonna switch over to my Urban Decay Vice Palette. This is probably one of my favorite lip palettes. More so in the winter, but they do have a lot of nude colors and a few pinks that work well in the summer. But I'm gonna use one of this darker shades to go right outside the line too. So we're gonna be using a total of three colors. And you wanna feather it in as you go. Like we said, everything is about blending, even the lips. And then the very inside, I'm gonna use this brightest pink here. And this is like a Barbie pink. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in with the darker color. Just so everything blends out good. Oh no, one more thing. One more step. Put a little, okay. little mascara on the bottom and we're gonna blend in her lashes into the false lashes. And then it helps mask any shadow that might have fallen out and make everything nice and black. Eyes about to Eyes water. watering. The, yes. We used to go through this with you. Yes. And I haven't done this. I thought so I overcame hard. this. No, I thought I so overcame good. this. Okay. I get the watery eyes and we close my eyes. Okay. I'm not blessed with a lot of under eyelashes, but when people do have them, it really, really looks nice. Okay, so finally we're gonna spray her one last time, and this spray is gonna be really, really good. For the fourth time. <laughs> right, the fourth, fourth time. Fourth time with the MAC Prep so Pro. <laughs> know that, you know, if you really want that nice dewy look, keep it moisturized. This is for skin that's a little more dry, which my skin is. If your skin is really oily, you probably can, uh, Cut it down to two times. <laughs> <laughs> two instead of four. So my face has been sprayed a total of five times. Yes. But that's all right mm -hmm. because I'm going to sleep in this makeup and wear it Right. I know that's right. And it, like I told you, I have people that come in on Friday, girl, and wear it until Sunday. That is crazy. Wear on everything. I'm not really going to sleep in mine. Right. But <laughs> Sounds I'm good. I'm just saying, it's going to be set. Mm -hmm. Make them so set I can sleep in it tonight. Yep. These. Am I pretty? Yes, you are <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> All right, we are ready for our final reveal. Bam! Boo yeah! <laughs> the oh so beautiful Whitney Styles. Thank you. The oh so talented Destiny Davis. We have our signature sweet beat. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a nice soft eye, and then we did an ombre lip. Popping pink lip, my yes. favorite. I also introduced her, so turn to the side, some yes. nice liquid gold bronzer. That I'm going to buy. Yes, and also purple blush that she's never tried. That I'm going to buy. <laughs> On top of this black opal foundation, this yes. black opal foundation, yeah, I feel like it matches intros. my skin very well, mm -hmm. is more affordable than the traditional MAC foundation that I use, so yes, I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. I'm so happy yes. that I could help you with Three new products. products. All right. Yes. And we also did the hair. We know Destin mm -hmm. for Beauty is the home of the one-stop shop here one in stop makeup. Shop. So we did a full quick weave. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a 16 inch, a 14 inch, and a 12 inch with a 12 inch closure. Mm -hmm. And then we just put some nice ocean waves. And I'm just loving this full total look. Me too. It's perfect. So tell us about Desi. So Desi. <laughs> hair stylist, makeup artist. Yes. How long have you been in the game? Um, what do you I... specialize in? Tell us about you. Okay. Desi the Star, a.k.a. Destined for Beauty, government name Destiny Davis. <laughs> um, I am a licensed cosmetologist. I got licensed in 2012. Uh, I started hair school in Atlanta, Georgia, and I relocated to my hometown, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I started off in Joby's Family Hair Salon. I moved from there to a suite, and after that, Destined for Beauty was born here in inner city of Grand Rapids, 1115 Alto. Um, so... I specialize in natural hair. I would say about 99% of my clients are natural. Mm -hmm. I do promote natural hair care, but we are not against relaxers, right. but I do promote natural hair care. Um, I do extensions. As we can see here, we did a quick weave extension with the lace closure. So we do closures, we sell hair. The hair was provided by Destin for Beauty for On this unit, unit. And um, I also do makeup. So it's for special occasions, bridal parties, 
bachelorette parties, birthday parties, open houses, we're in prom season. Um, maternity shoots. Maternity shoots. Um, I do collab as well mm -hmm. with photographers. If you are looking for a makeup artist, hairstylist to come on set for photo shoots. You travel. Um, I do travel as well. I'm very flexible in or out of state. Uh, and we pretty much just specialize in covering it all. All things beauty. All things right. beauty. Everybody has different specialties. So if it's something that I don't do, my mother, Denise Bishop, can do. And if you a fella that's looking to get cut up, we have a barber as well. Um, but we just want to touch and take care of everything in one spot. Like I said, One Stop Shop is our motto, Destined for Beauty, where beauty is meant to be. Do you have any projects coming up that we should be on the lookout for? I do. Aside from just regular business and salon, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. I also have a daddy-daughter uh, hair class coming up where we'll be hey. teaching uh, how to do simple hairstyles for their daughters. So uh, a lot of times kids will go off with dad and okay. they had a struggle bun <laughs> right. or they okay. want a little ponytail that's not neat, <laughs> little twigs falling everywhere, Girl, hair yeah. not moisturized, <laughs> kids walking around with a little dry brittle ponytail. Some daddies, y'all be on the struggle bus with the babies. Desi gonna get y'all together. <laughs> get you all the way together, together on the hair tip mm -hmm. and I think it'll be very beneficial. So so please look forward to that supporting that i also yes. plan on doing more content for my youtube channel as well uh mm -hmm. hair tutorials makeup tutorials uh that's basically what i focus on on the destined for beauty youtube channel uh what about you what do you got coming up doing my own makeup tutorials mm -hmm. for those of you who want to know how i beat my own face yes. not a professional but it should be entertaining <laughs> desi if people want to connect with you how can they find you I am on Facebook, Destiny Davis. Desi the Star is my handle for Twitter and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Our website here at the salon is www.destinedforbeauty.com. On that website, you can also book appointments. If you want to connect with me, you can always add me at Whitney Styles on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and of course YouTube. Subscribe. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Please click. So we'd love to know what you thought about this final look. Please let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more collaboration videos like this with other makeup artists, beauty gurus, or YouTube creators, please let me know in the comment section below and I will be sure to deliver. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, be sure to share on other social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Desi the Stars channel. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Very excited about today's collaboration. I'm very excited about today's class. I can't, why can't I say collaboration? <laughs> One of my favorite beauty artists, makeup gurus, I be fucking up. <laughs> the very first artist who ever did my face. So, that did my face. I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got. Right, I know. <laughs> Yank. <laughs> it's, I can't. It's, we also did a Destined for Beauty full. What did we do? Did we do it quickly? <laughs> right. I took I was right like, back in there. Who's so in there? Okay. <laughs> What do I do? I do. So hands braids. I don't have no braids. I'm talking about braids. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's <laughs> okay, girl. I'd love to know your thoughts and what you think about. No, no, no I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll tell what you think about this. <laughs> Double. Okay. And we'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know why I say we'll see you next time. <laughs>